Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life. This is part two, lesson two of Golden Slippers on Hammer Dulcimer. In our last lesson, our first lesson of the year, we learned the verse. We broke it down phrase by phrase. And this week, we're going to do the same thing with the chorus. And then next week, we're actually going to reteach the whole song with a lot of syncopation. Uh, and, and again, what we're playing here is fine. It's embellished. But next week, we'll make it even fancier, and then we'll work on chords for the last week. And we're just going to get started. When we play the song, chorus starts on A. Now we're going to be playing this triangle right here, which is A, F sharp, and D. You'll play A, A, F sharp, D, F sharp, A. And then over to D. We're just going to keep doing this. Play it with authority. I'm hitting these first two notes harder. And the last note harder. Then you're going to start here on this F sharp and go straight down. And then back over to the A. I'm playing right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 right. So we're going to play that really slow. And you want to do that a few times, and then you want to kind of get to the medium. You want to be comfortable, wherever you're comfortable. And I don't mean that if you're just doing it super slow, that's the only place you're comfortable. You want to, you want to push it a little bit. And you want to work on getting that up to speed. And you want to keep working that. And again, it's not about playing it fast. It's about playing it fast for comfort, for hand memorization, for muscle memory. And that will help playing it fast, but you want to get it nice and smooth. So that's our first phrase. I really would not go on any farther until you can play that at a relatively good clip. Our next note, we started here on the A. We ended here on this A. We're going to move our right hammer up. We're going to play B, and we're moving that same pattern all the way up. So what we're playing is B, B, G, E, G, B, E.
and you're going up to this G and going straight down four notes. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, right. So stop here. Please stop here. Uh, review. Make sure that you can play both of those. We're going to put them together. But if you can't, please don't move on. I wish I could come into your house and say, no, no, stop. Make sure that you've got this and make you do that. Of course, I can't do that. And honestly, if it were up to me, I would break this down every day, put a new lesson out every single day, a short, short lesson every single day to force someone to wait but obviously I can't do that so here's what we've got here by the way once you learn to play it fast when you play it really slow you act it's harder because you're thinking too much You could actually play it that way. They actually both work. So I don't want to confuse you, but let's do that again, just so you can see an option there. You can use either one of those notes. But our next note is going to be down here, this C sharp. So let's play up to that point. I'm going to cross. So let's play that again. So what you're playing here is C sharp, C sharp, D, C sharp, D. So we're playing C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, then you're playing E, E, F sharp, E, E. Right, right, left, right, 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 left, right. Right. So slow it down. Let's put it all together. Sorry. So that's a taste of what we're going to do next week, but let's do that again. Down to the D. So 
sorry, D, D, C sharp, E. So let's take you through that whole thing. I want to make sure that you're clear on the notes. You're playing C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, E, E, C sharp, E, E, down to the D, D, C sharp, D, up to the E, and I'm going to throw this in now just to give you a taste. Instead of, instead of this. We're going to play this. So what you're playing here, and I'm going to use numbers just for this part. We're playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and I can call it the notes too, but I want to do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What you're playing here is seven, five, two, seven, two, five, seven, five. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now it's really important when you're doing this that you strike this higher note harder. So if you notice the first time, it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's why both hands need to be equally adept at playing. I would not go any farther until you can play that. Break it down just like this. Work on just that. Play it with confidence. Break each of those down. That was four different things. Here's your first one. Here's your second one. Here's your third one. And here's your fourth one. So we're going to put all that together. Please, again, slow down. Learn each section slowly, medium, up to speed, slow down again. Here we go. Then it starts all over again. And then it's going to go which we've already learned that.
I'm, I play this a lot. You're playing this D for the ending, this A, this F sharp, and this D. You can do it a lot of different ways. So that second part goes. I'm doing the first part. Okay, here's the second part. That's all the same. Then... Then we go up. So the only thing we're adding is So I'm going to play it all the way through on the chorus. So make sure that you can play that. So I'm going to play it all the way from the beginning. And I might add some things, for example. Not that. So, here we go. Repeat it. So let me give you a practice track and you can play this on your own and uh, we will see you next week. We're going to change this around a little bit and, uh, and I'm actually going to bid you farewell at this point. Uh, you'll have this practice track at the end. You can go over it, over it and play along with it. But uh, I do want to thank my patrons. Uh, if you're watching these videos and you're taking these lessons and you're actually learning the instrument from these lessons, it's because there are those who are giving so that you can do that, so that you can have that privilege. And that's that's what it is. It's a privilege. But it's only because there are those who are giving. Uh, to become a patron, it's only $5 a month entry. Uh, some people support higher than that, uh, obviously. And you get more at the higher levels. But at the $5 level, every single month we get together, we have a, either a workshop or a jam or a meeting uh, where people pick my brains, which doesn't take long, or uh, I pick their brains, and I do. I ask my patrons for advice. I ask for their opinions on things. Uh, so anyone who would consider becoming a, a patron would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, we need your help. Uh, and again, I hope the lessons are a help and a blessing to you. 
So here we go. 